Hello folks, my name is Mark. This is Why Hit the World. How you guys doing? So this is a video about global warming, you know, which is not a new thing. It's It's been the, the idea that um, human activities which result in the emissions of, of you know, carbon emissions, stuff like that, can have effect on um, the climate. That's been an idea that's been floating out there for decades now, at least as long as I can remember. You know, back in the 80s and stuff, they were telling us about this when I was a kid. You know, and it's it's always been one of those problems that has just never really hit home yet. You know, we always thought, oh, yeah, someday in the future, that'll start affecting us and we'll figure it out. You know, but right now I'm not going to worry about it. And, you know, that's kind of been the, the pushback that we've gotten from the establishment for all these years. You know, it's always been the same. Like, you know, if you're concerned about this, then you're an alarmist. You know, the science hasn't really been proven and it's all part of a natural cycle and the changes would that we would need in order to stop, you know, this type, this type of uh, damage would just destroy the economy, it would cost too many jobs, blah, 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 right? And by 2010, it seemed that global climate change just became another issue that, you know, Republicans and Democrats and liberals and conservatives just screamed at each other over, you know, no different than... Uh, um, you know, immigration or abortion, something like that. So somewhere along the line, this became more than an issue just about the need to preserve our environment versus business interests and the, you know, economic activity and stuff. And especially on the right wing, you know, it seems to have like devolved into this sort of crazy conspiracy theory that the Chinese are creating this. It's like a hoax put on by China and India and stuff like that so that they can go and destroy our democracy you know, unless it's all just really a plot by Satan. And I'm not making that last part up, you know, there's this conspiracy theory called the Green Dragon Environmentalism Movement, right? Where evangelical Christians really think that the whole movement is just a way to kind of sneak in nature worship and, and paganism and stuff like that and ultimately lead us to undermine Christianity and all that shit. And it's just fucking ridiculous. You know, I love how the right wing can never just keep it, you know, to be about greed or whatever when they have their conspiracy theories. They always have to throw in fucking angels and aliens and demons and shit. So for years, nothing happened. Nothing got done, you know. Uh, Democrat would come in and get into office and pass a couple of regulations, you know, and a, Dem a Republican would come in right after and just undo it. And that's exactly what happened. You know, Obama passes some clean air regulations, signs us onto the Paris Accords, Trump comes in, undoes all that shit, pulls us out of the Accords, and we're back to square one, you know, one step forward, two steps back. And the Democrats never really came up with any kind of lasting plan, you know, that would introduce, like, drastic changes that we need, and the Republicans are actively sabotaging what little gains we do get, you know, and it, we're just kind of stuck in this little cycle. Nothing, Nothing's ever getting fucking done here. And in the meantime... The planet continues to fall apart all around us, you know. It started, at first it was small, right? Little things would happen here and there, you know. There would, uh, the little tiny things that the, the right wing could just hand wave away, you know. Uh, during the early aughts, there was like an increase in wildfires in California. And they're like, yeah, well, wildfires happen there all the time. Don't worry about it. You know, and then like 2005, Hurricane Katrina just totally destroys fucking New Orleans. Yeah, well, you know, those idiots should have been, shouldn't have built their fucking city below sea level anyway. And plus, you know, a bunch of black people were looting there. So fuck them. Who cares? <laughs> right. Seriously. Then, you know, 2007, we get severe flooding over the Midwest. Right. Kills 18 people. Causes, you know, something like 548 million dollars in damage and it's like yeah but floods happen here all the time right <laughs> so and you would think that if this was part of some natural cycle or some shit then that cycle would eventually end you know like el nino or something you know it only goes for a, a limited amount of time right but that's not what happened you know the bad news just kept coming winter 2010 we have this snowmageddon event you know, like severe storm causes flooding in northern Mexico and then that tracks up northward and it leads to this blizzard, right, that drops 35 inches of rain across like the entire upper, you know, eastern, uh, this entire group of states, Pennsylvania, Virginia, West Virginia, Washington, D.C., Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, you know, causes uh, tens of thousands of homes to go without power, leads to like, you know, 54 fatalities. 2011, we get severe flooding in Brazil, El Salvador, Laos, Thailand, Cambodia, kills more than a thousand people, 
causes $5 billion worth of damage, right? 2016, you get uh, Hurricane Matthew completely destroys Haiti, you know, kills 580 people, leaves 35,000 people homeless. You know, they still haven't recovered from that. That was only a few years ago. So you might be thinking, yeah, well, this is just normal shit that happens all the time, right? You know, you always get floods, you always get hurricanes. Well, you know, in 2016, a snowstorm hit Saudi Arabia, <laughs> right? And where the temperatures got as low as 25 degrees Fahrenheit. And the temperatures for this time of year in Saudi Arabia were supposed to be around 68 degrees. Okay, this of course led to like, you know, increased rainfall and flooding and seven people died. But you can find pictures of this, you know, of uh, guys in Saudi Arabia wearing their like traditional desert garb making snowmen and shit like that. It's fucking bizarre, right? The next year, 2017, Hurricane Maria completely devastates Puerto Rico, right? Causes $91 billion worth of damage, displaces 73,000 people, kills 3,059, right? Two years later now, 2019, there are still parts of Puerto Rico that don't have electricity. I mean, these are American citizens we're talking about here. This shit isn't funny, you know? And it's something a little closer to home. Last year, in 2018, in California, the entire fucking state burns down in, like, the worst wildfire season in history, right? There were a combined 8,527 fires that burned 2 million acres, destroyed 22,751 buildings, killed 103 people, caused over $3 billion worth of damage. I made a video about this shit because this fire came within 20 feet of my house, right? This shit is not funny. This, you know, you hear about this stuff on the news and you're like, oh, that's happening off in some country out in the middle of nowhere or whatever. No, this shit, this was where I live, okay? It's like, this is really happening to real people out there. Real people are being affected by this shit. So that brings us to 2019, which is shaping up to be an atrocious, ridiculous year as far as uh, climate-related disasters go. Um, from January to May, much of the American Midwest was underwater with floods along the Mississippi and Missouri rivers. Um, also this summer in July, a massive heat wave hit the United States where um, most of the lower 48 had temperatures that went over 90 degrees Fahrenheit, <laughs> right? Similar heat wave also hit Europe and Spain where uh, the UK saw a new high in their area of 101 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, the, if you've ever been to England, it's, you know, cloudy and rainy and shit even during the summer. So that's unprecedented. That's ridiculous, you know. Um, and there's also been a lot of news coverage of wildfires in the Amazon right now. That's getting a lot of coverage, but, you know, that doesn't kind of preclude the fact that we're also seeing similar wildfires in parts of Africa, Eastern Europe, and the American Southeast. You know, so shit is pretty much going to hell in a handbasket everywhere in the world. And despite all of this, we can't seem to get our shit together to do anything about it. You know, a recent poll from George Mason University shows that 40% of Americans still think that climate change isn't a problem. You know, and this gets worse when you add political affiliation in there because only 25% of Republicans think that climate change is a major problem. <laughs> and only 21% of them think that it's something that should be a top priority. You know, we're living in a country where, you know, that's being hit by climate-related disasters on every side, every year, over and over and over, killing thousands, causing billions of dollars worth of damage, and half our fucking population is in denial. <laughs> they don't even think a problem exists. I mean, the, the scientific consensus out there is that we have maybe 12 years you know, maybe a decade to do something about this in order to curb emissions down to a point so that we don't get a 2% rise in temperature and, you know, the worst effects of climate change won't happen. And frankly, that's fucking impossible. It's it's not going to happen. I don't, I don't know why people think that, you know, suddenly one day we're just going to, like, wake up and, like, get our shit together and do something about it because we're not. You know, not when half the country is in denial that we have a problem, you know. I mean, the thing is, that would be difficult to do even if we did have buy-in from the Republicans, the conservatives, and all that shit, you know. But it's impossible, especially with them willfully fucking up whatever progress we do make, you know. Forget it. It's, it's not going to happen. So I don't really see what we can do about it, you know. There really isn't much. 
I mean, the thing is, is that even if you personally out there live a 100% carbon neutral lifestyle, you know, let's say you go, you get all new appliances, you change out all your light bulbs, right? You put in solar panels on your house, your roof or whatever, you drive an electric car, all of that stuff it's not going to amount to very much. It's not going to do anything unless you get millions and millions of other people to go along with it, you know, and do the exact same thing, not just in this country, but around the world. <laughs> and it's just not going to happen. So I personally think, you know, I think we're pretty much fucked. So I was reading in Norway, they have these seed banks, you know, this like seed vault that they go to collect seeds for different plants and things in order to keep them from like going extinct and stuff. I think we're gonna need one of those, but for animals, you know, like like an ark, right? That we should really go out and collect genetic samples from all the different animal species, as many as we can get, and preserve them, right? So that one day, when we finally do get our shit together, you know, 50 years from now, and finally do manage to bring the, the fucking climate back to something that's a livable state, we can clone all the animals back to life because they're all going to die, right? And it would be nice so that our descendants would be able to actually see what a horse or an anteater or an elephant actually looks like in person without having to like look at it in like some old YouTube video or some shit. Cause that's what's gonna happen, you know? Um, I mean, I don't know, I heard this other plan where that, that involves planting a trillion trees all across the country and stuff and yeah, I mean, I kind of like that plan. Apparently, you know, if we ch plant that many trees, it'll pull enough carbon out of the atmosphere so we won't have to, you know, we'll, we'll be able to, like, curb emissions enough and save ourselves, right? I like that idea because it, it doesn't have any laws that need to be passed that are just going to be undone by the fucking Republicans, <laughs> right? It's something that we can do that makes you not only does it make you feel good but you know it, you can be proactive and you can actually you know it's something that the, the 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 little person can do you know without having to rely on on your government and shit when other people are out there are just gonna like fuck it up you know and but i, I don't know i mean somehow i don't really think that's gonna work you know it's like how are you gonna plant a trillion trees when half the population doesn't give a fuck and they're just gonna chop them down <laughs> right and you know it, it's it's like I don't know we have to get we have to get everybody working together and I don't see that's I don't see it's gonna happen you know because half our population is too busy thinking that Jesus is gonna come back and like you know fix the environment after he fucking bans abortion and makes plastic fucking drinking straws legal again so we're basically screwed you know, that's it. So, I don't know, folks. Enjoy it while you can. You know, we got about 10 years, you know, that, that gives us what? Um, I don't know, 20 more Marvel movies <laughs> before the end of the world. So, yeah, everyone's insane. That's all I got. Adios.